Here you are looking at the Intel Atom N270 processor put next to a penny. As you can see here is the core die. This comes to show how small this CPU really is. And it packs a punch at 1.6 gig for, for the actual size of it. It puts out hardly any heat at all. Just to give you an idea how small the Intel Atom N270 processor is, here is two socket 478 processors which are usually what are Pentium 4's, Celeron's, and Celeron D's. As you can see here is a Pentium 4 with the William Met core which is an older core. The Northwood is quite smaller but see the Penny itself is here. You saw how small the Atom processor is. It just comes to show how powerful computer processors have become over the years. All the way back from the 586 Pentium processor all sorts of die shrinks. You see, most people, a lot of people probably think all these new systems will draw a whole bunch of power. Yeah, some do draw a pretty good bit of power, but ones with the 45 nanometer architecture that are shrunken down so small and have all the stuff packed in there, in there really good. It really doesn't draw much power at all. It's just like the new Atom processor, the N270, only draws 2.5 watts. And there are other atom models that are even smaller and draw less power. It's pretty impressive.